Hello friends, I'm Commander Atul Kumar Rohatgi speaking to you. I'm speaking on behalf of Israel Institute of Excellence. As I had told you earlier, we have started new series of talks. It is being called HVAC Talks and in that subcategory is Chilled Water System. This particular video is the third in that series of Chilled Water System. I hope you have seen my earlier two videos on chill water system. In case if you have not, it is recommended that you go through them also. Today the topic of discussion will be chill water velocity through pipes. What should be the velocity of chill water through the pipes and what is the effect of this velocity? In my last discussion of chill water system, we had discussed how to estimate the quantity of chill water flow needed. For a particular load, how do we come to know how much is the chill water flow? And in that video, I had also discussed what is the temperature difference or temperature rise that we consider for chill water in piping systems. And today we are going to talk about chill water velocity to be used for pipe size determination. Now let's understand that pressure losses during water flow or pump uh, power requirement rises sharply with increasing velocity. The higher the velocity of water, the more will be the pump losses, that is pressure losses, and more will be noise. Increase in water also leads to greater noise level. The maximum permissible flow of water because of these reasons in chill water system is 3 meters per second. And it is also recommended that systems operate within 80% of this maximum limit. So normally the speed of chill water, the velocity of chill water through pipes is kept around 2.4 meters per second or below. So you see that flow rate of chill water is equal to water velocity multiplied by pipe cross-sectional area. Now, we have already decided, we have already estimated what is the flow rate needed based on the heat load. And this I have discussed in my last video. Now water velocity multiplied by pipe diameter, uh, pipe cross-sectional area will give me the flow rate. You can see that higher velocity means lesser pipe cross-sectional area means lesser diameter and lower velocity means higher cross-sectional area means higher diameter of pipes. So for the same cooling load or for the same flow rates, increase in water velocity means reduction in pipe diameter and therefore lower initial cost. Higher water velocity on the other hand means higher pressure requirement, higher levels of wear and tear, more maintenance needs and higher running cost. Now it is for us to decide which one do we want or where do we make a compromise. Higher velocity of water that leads to lower pipe diameter and it leads to lower initial cost but it also leads to a higher running cost and more noise. Lower velocity of water on the other hand leads to higher pipe diameter, higher initial cost but lower running cost, quieter of this. Now in front of you there, there is a table which says what is the preferred velocity of water in normal services. See at the pump discharge level the preferred velocity if this particular table says is around 2.9 meters per second. At the pump section it comes to 1.5 meters per second. In main headers it is 2.13 meters per second. Risers 1.8 meters per second. I am not talking about the other services. Now this is another table which is in front of you, which says that depending on how many hours a particular system runs, how many hours for how many hours the water is running in the system in a particular year and based on that, the velocity has, has been suggested. Now you see that chilled water systems are normally running all through the year. That is in certain uh, parts, it might be running 8,000 or 8,000 plus number of hours. Why, why only 8,000, 8,600 odd hours which are there in a particular year. So based on that, 
the recommended water velocity is given as maximum velocity is 2.4 meters per second. Now you see that uh, earlier also I had said that 3 meters per second is the maximum velocity of water and we should uh, not exceed 80% of that maximum limit. So that means 2.4 meters which matches with this requirement. This much in this particular video we will be talking more about pipe diameter calculation and other aspects of chill water system design. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for watching us. This, is, this was a presentation on behalf of ISRA Institute of Excellence. We can be contacted on the numbers that are given here. I would recommend that if you want to know more about HVAC and refrigeration, if you want to get into this industry, join, do join us. We have many courses running for you. Our contact numbers are once again there in front of you. Thank you.